and welcome to Songs and Stories with Oxford County Library. My name is Shannon and I'm the Literacy and Innovation Specialist at the Ingersoll Branch. Let's get ready to sing our hello song. So we have our American Sign Language signs that we've been learning the last couple of weeks. We have hello and friends. Are you ready? Hello friends, hello friends. Hello, friends, it's time to say hello. So hello, friends. Today is a very special day. Do you know what today is? Today is Thursday, January 27th, which is Family Literacy Day. Family Literacy Day celebrates reading and doing literacy activities as a family. We are encouraging you to celebrate today with whoever you call family and enjoy some really fun literacy activities. Literacy goes so much farther than reading books, but we do love reading books. Following a recipe, counting, reading signs when you're out on a walk are all really easy and fun ways to engage with literacy activities. I think this is a great time for us to read a story. The story I'm going to read with you today is called Mom, Dad, Our Books and Me written by Danielle Marcott and illustrated by Josie Bizalon. This book is published by Owl Kids in 2013. This book is a great representation of all the other things you can do to celebrate literacy as a family. So let's get started. Mom, Dad, Our Books, and Me. I love it when we're all together. Mom, Dad, our books, and me. Mom reads, Dad reads, and I read too. Our kid here is sprawled out on the floor reading. Where do you like to read books? Buddy doesn't read. He hasn't learned yet. What kind of animal is Buddy? Buddy is a dog. Toto doesn't read either. He'd rather watch TV. And there we see Toto the goldfish. And forget Gracie. She's much too busy. You see Gracie hiding in the plant? Gracie the cat. But I'm not too busy. I know how to turn pages, name pictures, and sound out words. I could read now like the big kids. Everyone around me reads. After five or six pages, Grandma's head is in the clouds. Grandpa takes cover beneath a canopy and sinks into his novel. Uncle browses in a kitchen scented with eggplants and thyme. Ooh, I wonder what they're making in that kitchen. Auntie reads sheet music. She tells wonderful stories made of sound. Pirate stories give my neighbor the shivers as she swings safely in her hammock. While wow, I, I like getting goosebumps in my bubble bath. Reading books in a tub sounds relaxing. And books are not the only thing that we read. The fisherman reads the sky for coming storms. 
Ooh, that sky looks pretty dark in that picture. Do you think a storm is coming? A woman reads love poems in her boyfriend's eyes. A tourist reads the time on his watch while checking the train schedule. Madame Dora reads the future in tarot cards and crystal balls and in the lines of my palm. Everyone in the doctor's office reads, from the nurses to the patients. A baby chews on a board book while the doctor reads a thermometer. Reading can make you cry. Reading can make you smile. I like it best when I laugh and cry. Thanks to books, I find balance, I climb high, I follow new roads, and I move forward. But as far as my books may take me, I will never lose my way, because books also bring us together. Mom, Dad, our friends, and me. The end. Reading really does bring us together. And in this story, we saw lots of examples of how you can find literacy activities and read other than books. We saw reading in the doctor's office, reading thermometers, reading signs, recipes, and even sheet music. What other things besides books can you read? I have two other books that I'd like to share with you. Here we have Read Me a Book by Barbara Reed. And it's a really simple book that just shows where you find literacy out in the world. So here our two characters are reading a cereal box at the grocery store. That's a great literacy activity to do when you're out and about. I also wanted to share with you this book and it is called Three Stories You Can Read to Your Dog. Written by Sarah Swan Miller and illustrated by True Kelly. And this is a great book to practice reading out loud and reading to others. If you don't have a dog, no problem. You can read to a plant. You could read to a pet rock, a stuffed animal, another person in your house, an imaginary friend. I have a cat instead of a dog. Do you think she would like this book? Maybe we'll have to give it a try and find out. The theme for this year's Family Literacy Day is learning in the great outdoors. And with all the great snow we've had in January, it got me thinking about snowmen. I have made this snowman craft just out of construction paper. Let's count the snowman's buttons together. One, two, three. And what color are the snowman's buttons? This snowman has blue buttons and a blue scarf. This snowman also has a fun little rhyme to go along with it. It goes like this. I'm a little snowman, look at me. These are my buttons, one, two, three. These are my eyes and this is my nose. I wear a scarf and a hat because brrr, it's cold. Make sure you bundle up your snowman. How many buttons would your snowman have? What else could you make a snowman out of besides paper? Make your very own snowman with your family members to celebrate Family Literacy Day. Thank you for joining me today for Songs and Stories with the Oxford County Library.
There is more Family Literacy Day fun to come for the rest of the day, so stay tuned to the Oxford County Library Facebook page and YouTube channel to catch those awesome videos. You can find any of the book titles that I mentioned earlier on the Oxford County Library website at www.ocl.net. And if you're looking for even more Family Literacy Day fun, on our YouTube channel you can find last year's Family Literacy Day video lineup. We look forward to celebrating with you today. Now it's time for our goodbye song. And our American Sign Language signs are goodbye and friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Thanks for joining me today. See you next time. Bye.